Now I wanted to talk about this other component that you might find on the liquid line. The other component that I'm talking about happens to be your sight glass. Your sight glass. Now just like the name says, sight glass, it is a basically a piece of glass so that you can look into the refrigeration system. Now coming through here, we said that you're going to have your liquid line filter dryer. Liquid line filter dryer right there. And this is going to be your sight glass here. In the middle of this, you're going to have a dot. Typically that dot is going to end up being, hopefully, is going to be green. Hopefully it's green. But what happens here is you have the refrigerant that's going to be coming from the liquid line. You're going to have the refrigerant that's going to be coming in from the liquid line here. And this should be 100% liquid. 100% liquid coming in. If this dryer is okay, if there are no problems with the dryer, then we're going to have 100% liquid traveling through here and 100% liquid going through here. So hopefully the side glass is going to be completely full of liquid. Sometimes if the dryer is bad, if the dryer is getting clogged up, this liquid line filter dryer, if this liquid line filter dryer is getting clogged up, then you're going to have flash gas here. And you're going to see bubbles in the side glass. They're going to be traveling through here because you're creating a restriction here. You have a pressure drop right there. So what happens is the refrigerant flashes off. You see bubbles here. And the technician a lot of times will say, well, there are bubbles in the side glass, so we need to add refrigerant. Well, that's not so. That's not really true. The bubbles could be coming from this dryer being clogged up. So what are you going to do? Well, how do you know that this dryer is clogged up? If you remember, one of the things that we have said is that you touch one side of the dryer, you touch the other side, if there's a temperature difference, then you know that this dryer is clogged up and it needs to be replaced. So when you see bubbles in the side glass, always check your dryer. Always check to see if this dryer needs to be replaced because there's a pressure drop because and that's creating a temperature difference. Now, this moisture indicator, this green dot that we talked about right here, green is what you want to see. You want to see a green so that you know that there that the system is okay because green typically means everything's fine. Sometimes you're going to see that it is yellow. Well, if this has turned yellow, that tells us that there's moisture in the system. That means that now the system has been contaminated with moisture and that's going to create a problem. Because what does moisture do in a refrigeration system? It creates acid. The moisture creates acid in a system. So we don't want that. Anytime we see this, we know that there's moisture. So what are we going to do? How are we going to get rid of this moisture? Well, it's not that difficult. What we need to do is replace the dryer. We're going to take this liquid line filter dryer out of here, put a new one in, and maybe even a suction line filter dryer so that they can trap the moisture. Now, one thing you need to remember is that once you take the dryer out, we have to pull a vacuum. Once you pull a vacuum, how deep of a vacuum do you pull? Or let me ask you this, how long do you pull a vacuum for? How long? Some mechanics say 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, it depends. Well, guess what? The time doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how long you pull it for. What's important is that you get down to 500 microns. You have to have a micron gauge for this, but you got to get down to 500 microns. Once you get down to 500 microns, you know you have removed all the moisture and air and non-condensables from the system, so now your system should be dry. Now, once you have done this, well then guess what's going to happen? Yes, you're right. What's going to happen is this, the uh, side glass is going to turn back to green. It's going to turn back to green. 
is going to turn back to green. So you're going to see that this dot has turned back to green because now you have dried the system out, you have removed all the moisture that's in there, and now your system is okay. Once you replace the dryer, these bubbles, they should all go away. So now, this being green is telling you that there's no moisture in the system. It doesn't tell you that the dryer is clogged up. The only way to know the dryer is clogged up is by temperature difference. If this turns yellow, that tells you that there's moisture in the system. The temperature here could be okay, but that could be yellow. That tells you that there's moisture in the system and the dryers need to be replaced. You also have to pull a vacuum down to 500 microns. This may sound like a lot, but watch the video over again if something didn't make sense. And thank you. Again, this is Julio from Aircon Academy. Take a look at my webpage, take a look on YouTube, and I have other videos that you can watch. Thank you.